ほわ Hello, hello, hello. I gotta keep up with chat a second. Ah! Oi! Ah! Ah! What have I done? Yeah, I got it. Thank you very much for the host follows, etc. Where the heck am I pause? Ah! I can't try down pause. Yeah. Hi, Rick. Give me my left paw first. Oh, my God. Hello, everyone. I can't do anything. Ah. Get on. Get on there. Hello Theo, hello Nathan, hello RT, thank you for the host. Hello Rick, hello Fanboy. I think that's that's good so far. Is that right? That's fine. It is it is fluffy time, not go fast time. Oh. I can actually control it with my finger. I have learned so much over these last few streams. I actually know what I'm doing now, almost. Hi, Bladen. How are you doing? For some reason, Streamlabs keeps... Just thank you. Streamlabs just kept pausing the chat thing, and I was like, "What is happening?" Ah, hello, hello. Hoping I'm trying a slightly, slightly better layout today. I think a bit more like open. Although the we bought webcams, and they have not helped. To be honest, it still looks a little washed out and crap. But I can't be bothered to mess with the filters because you don't know what's going to happen. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all having a nice evening or morning. You live in the future. Is it good there? Please tell me it's good there. Please let me get away from you. Ah. Uh -huh. Are things actually happening in the future? I hope so. How's the audio? I don't know if it's too far away. I also can hear the ridiculous amount of rain right now. It is very wet outside. I'm very glad. God, I hope so. Oh, it's been like two months since I put my suit on, even. It's been way too long. I wish I could see the mixer. Thank you for the, the musical number. I appreciate it. Yeah. If all is good, I'm... Well, I haven't suited for like two months. So, you know, I'm not really used to it. I don't really have a great amount of excuse because I need some good ideas for photos. Hello, Kai. How are you doing? Good. 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 
That's all. Thank you. It's really lovely. I kind of I brought the camera a bit more forward, and then because I've increased the size as well, it makes it a bit more like. It's good. It looks better. It does look better, I think. Although the camera is a little washed out, but I can't I can't do much with it. I'm a lot more orange in real life. I promise. And my walls a lot more orange as well because <laughs> it looks like it looks almost white there. Yeah, I have got many questions. Very traffic -y. You wait. You wait, Blevin. I'll see you soon. I'm threatening it. So yeah, I have many questions. Hmm. But well, if you try the exclamation hug command, you will see how the dice smell of oranges. I have introduced commands. Don't you know? I need to make like a proper thing for it. Because I did a few. Not, not too many. Only like five or six. But I have done them. I have done boop. I have done boop. Although boop is uh, better for speedrunning. Because I made it with speedrunning in mind. But I haven't done a cover one, because I have a hug one, and that's enough. I've done... I've done the shout out ones as well. I've done... I'm trying to do... I'm trying to figure out a good way of having one that works well for speedrunning. So, like, um, I'll introduce, like, an exclamation mark route that I'll update with whatever game I'm running, and then you can, like, pull up the route, or it'll give an like exclamation mark like a specific glitch if I think when I go back to Wind Waker in a couple of weeks a couple of weeks I say <laughs> yeah he told me about that um I'm gonna introduce like a exclamation mark glitch one and it'll um it'll give a bit more detail about some of the glitches stuff like that I'm thinking that that might be a good way of um making it a bit more obvious what I'm doing I think yeah, I got the shout out one. I've got the boop one. I've got the cuddle, uh, hug one. Um, I need to do some speed runny ones. I've done one for my emotes as well, so I can turn off the Streamlabs auto sending thing. And I'll leave it for Discord, I think, because it's quite good to have that refresh occasionally. Uh, but yeah, I have done a little bit of like playing about with it. I just need to do a little bit more. Spell a mistake. Wait. Don't tell me that it is now and I can't see one. You may be lying to me. Ah, oh, you're right. I missed that one. I'm probably going to remove that one anyway and uh, just have it as a command. So you, how can you type with these? It doesn't work. That's why I can't program anything. Just doing that, and it doesn't make sense. Okay, let's do some questions, because I have 51 at the moment, without, you know, other people coming in. <laughs> so I've got a while, and I don't want to be suiting for too long. Get a dialing wand. <laughs> I already have a wand. Bonk. Ouch. Why would you do that? My feelings hurt more than my nose does. Anyway. You can just do the exclamation mark of boop. If you really want to. Because that one is a good one. Hi Sin. How are you doing? <laughs> that was a good one. I thought about that one for a while before I went with it. <laughs> I thought it would be a clever one. Yeah. First question. Why do you look so fluffy and adorable? Because I am fluffy and adorable. I feel like that was a given. You know, sometimes it's like, don't judge a book by its cover. But appearances are everything. In this case, I very much am. Anyway. 
Get some nodders in here. <laughs> Hi, Winfrey. How are you doing? Nodders. Oh, God, this is painfully slow. Can I see beans? No, they're downstairs in the kitchen. And if you mean foot paws, then definitely not, because I don't have them on right now. If you don't believe me, hang on, let me just move back, just for evidence. Ah! I can't be well to have my foot paws on, it's too difficult to walk around as is. So I have an sock on instead. I'm pretty good, thank you. I have a week off. So I can't complain there. That's, <laughs> dude, that's kind of hot. Oh, woo. <laughs> Do you love to hug and can you hug me? No, peasant. Arr. Hugs are okay. They're okay. Depends. <laughs> I replied, um, one of these questions I actually already replied to on Instagram. And I'll tell the story when it comes up because it was like a story in three parts. If you haven't been to, to one, where would you go for your first fur con? I went to Confuzzled in 2017. And there's pictures of me there and I've got jet black hair. Because I um I had a job interview like a week before. Me deliver one pet. Um I had a job interview like a week before and I wanted to get rid of the red because I wanted to make it look a bit more professional, but I didn't want to cut my hair. So I had, I dyed my hair and it was just completely jet black. It was very My Chemical Romance. Not that that's a problem. Because it's, it is very me. Can you tell all your furry friends that I'm a beatboxer and that I work out? So. <laughs> like my soul. So guys, just so you know, this guy's a beatboxer and he works out. Now that you know that, I feel like your lives are enriched in some way. <laughs> I don't beatbox. Yeah, I can't do it. Daisy Husky, can I have butt? Yes. So unclip this. Daisy Husky is entitled to one butt. One Jagsy butt. Um... Yes, that counts. I beat some boxes in speedrunning, I guess. Daisy is entitled to one but he is allowed. He is permission. Oh, I did post that on Instagram as well. I posted a flagrantly horny picture on Instagram. Which I tend to avoid doing because the age on Instagram somehow ranges from like mid 50s to I think like nine year olds occasionally I've been a bit worried I try to be a bit safe oh this is the one <laughs> by Instagram show me your shorts photos are mainly videos giant slash micro stomping on the camera okay so the guy posted this and I literally I cannot help myself because I'm Deep down, and by deep down I mean about like this far below the surface, I'm kind of an asshole, um, and I, I don't have any self-control when it comes to answering back, which is something that I tend to get a lot away with a lot better in person, because I tend to know when I can judge, like, when I can get away with saying things, whereas on the internet you tend to be a little bit more cautious, and I tend to try not push it, but as Nino and Tamari will tell you actually, because he's suffered worse for it than uh, Nino has, I will, like, instantly come back with something. I'll probably be a bit too mean. But I saw this. Couldn't help myself. So I replied to the story on Instagram with a picture of my thinking sticker and just, no, lol. Right? <laughs> and then the guy messaged me and was like, why not? And then <laughs> someone else messaged me, another suitor, and said to the story that I posted saying no lol, I said, is this uh, is this X guy? Alright? <laughs> and it was, I was like, how do you know? Um, 
And then even she was, I think it was, I'm going to say they, B6, they. Um, they were like, oh yeah, I had exactly the same question in exactly the same format, like word for word. And I was like, all right, okay then. And then the guy sent me another question, which comes up in a bit. <laughs> I was just like instantly like, no. I was going to do it for a few. There's a few questions on here. Like, um, the one, do you like hugs? I was just going to reply, no. And I was like, I can't do that too often. I'll kill the joke. Someone's fishing for fapping material. <laughs> have you seen my Twitter feed? They don't have to go far. <laughs> have you ever been sprayed by a skunk? I got asked this exact question last time, and I don't really know why people want to ask it. No. It didn't last time. It hasn't changed in a month. I can't imagine it changing much next month. Although I saw someone with a pet skunk on YouTube the other day, which I feel like is a bit of a risk. Like, what if you, like, overplay with it? Like, you can... When you wind up the cat or the dog, like, you might get a little bit toothy or a little bit clory. You wind up the skunk a bit too much. You're like, play, 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 play. Oh, no. How awful. It literally has, like, ruined all my clothes. But an interesting decision, to say the least. I can't say I've seen a skunk IRL. They, they're okay. They're a little cute. They've got big, goofy tails. But... Hello, Blue. Hello. 96. I appreciate it. Honestly, my my first two videos tend to get the most clips. And uh, someone did a shout-out thing, and when they do the shout-out, it brings up a clip. And it was one of my really dumb clips, and I was like, excellent. Because most of my... Hello, Coulson. How are you doing? Did you watch piano lessons? I hope your fingers are as swift as the wind. I I don't know if that works for piano players. I played the drums. I was a simple type. I was just like, I I'm, I'm not really very civilized. I'm afraid. It's kind of, kind of Those are clunky, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. How did you get into Fursu, Dink? Oh god. I need to speedrun Breath of the Wild again at some point. I'm actually considering it. I did have a look at it, but I don't have time to learn something new right now. Because I've got to speedrun three games at the moment until mid September till I know what's going on. So yay! And then I'll probably be doing two then till uh November time. So I don't really want to like stack on top of that. But I think I might learn Breath of the Wild afterwards and then submit that to the next Fastest Fizz, potentially. I think it feels really loose compared to that one. How did I get into suiting? I got forced into one. Grand session. Um, my, I went to Confuzzled 2017. My friend was like, wear my fursuit. So I did, and there's a picture of me like lounging in a chair. And I was like, this is pretty good. Um, so I got my suit, and like I think a l couple of weeks later, I wore Tamari's suit a few times as well. Uh, there's a video of me trying to drive my car in Tamari's first suit, which is a bit of a dessert. It didn't go wrong. It was actually not too bad. It was just difficult. Don't try it. It was on private land, I should point out. It wasn't on a main road. Where did I get the collar and tag from? The collar uh, Tamari bought me from a convention in America, and the tag Nino made himself from... The desk where he does his streaming now behind me, he used to have all metalwork stuff set on there, and he actually made the tag himself on there. Although, free time, that was back when free time was something he had. But yeah, he made a couple. He made Tamari's tag, he made Zane's tag, he made, he sold a few, including one to a guy in America. I've seen his tags in the wild before now. Um, I saw one at Furcation, I saw one like in a post on um, Twitter, and I was like, hey! You made that tag. I think you made like 10 or 15. Uh, mainly, like, mine was the most special. I can't even... There we go. The only thing... The only thing I'm sad about is because I don't have claws. Thank you very much for the host, Wheelie. Um, if I had claws, I could, like, tappy-tap-tap tap it. 
that probably plays very loudly because <laughs> it doubles up because it plays on the stream and then it plays on there as well. Nice. Nice. What are some of your favorite types of pictures to take while in suit? Suit pictures with other people because they require no effort. How you doing, Lady? I hope you're doing good this uh, Friday, whenever it is here. Friday something or another. Um, because photos with other people tend to take no effort. Because if I'm doing photos by myself, I tend to have like a list of ideas and then go through them. Although doing the photo shoot at the top of the mountain, local to me, that was probably one of my favorite ones ever. I would have preferred it with other people, but like going out and doing something like that and just trying to get like somewhat natural photos does feel good. I like that a lot. And I would do that some more. Although, it have, we literally haven't had a good opportunity this year, unfortunately, due to various things, work and weather and nonsense going on. I'd quite like to have done it this week because we both got the week off and it's going to rain all week. Of course, so I might do some photos at some point. Hopefully I'll go out soon and do some photos. Hopefully soon. Yeah, that would be good. I do want to get out and do some with people. Go see people do things. <laughs> oh, I don't care about your eyes, No, you haven't. I haven't even seen your suit. It's very sad, Blevin. If you could have any superpower, what could it be? Uh, I would be incredibly lazy and have the ability to move things with my mind. So that I could just be like, and grab things. Because so, sometimes you just look at something like, can I just go like, like the force? Like watch a Star Wars, you're like, I just want to go and move something. Like, eh, move it back or like, eh, and pull it towards me. I just got eh from my booze. Like, eh. LFM, I don't know if I'm going to do LFM. Um, I set aside the time for it. Uh, but we're a bit basically being the filter. Yes, except for, you know, the whole, like, being near an orphan thing. I'm not quite that. But yeah, London for me. Unfortunately, every single person that I would go and see there isn't going to that one so it's like it's a long way to go to basically not see anyone and then all those people go to the meet after and i can't afford to do two in a row so i might hold off to like a good like group of friends are going and then just go with those guys because i don't want to be like wandering around like a lost lamb being like where is everyone yeah, but as confirmed as it can be without you know the english government stepping in and saying no bugger off I understand it as. Brum for me. I haven't done a Brum one. Well, sorry, I did one back when me and Nino first got together, and I had to drive back from it because he decided to do absinthe shots. But Brum would be okay. I wouldn't mind doing Brum if it happened again. London Pride. I definitely want to do like London or Cardiff Pride in suit. I think that would be fun. Although it'd have to be like a specific day, like the London. Pride March I had a chance on going on with Tamari because he nagged me to sign up and I decided against it and I shouldn't have because it was ama it looked amazing I should have done it I'd like to do the Cardiff one Can you stop flapping? Fuck off Fucking blind What is something you look forward to having every single day? Several inches No, 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 I mean These inches. And also several inches. <laughs> Wrong way. A. <laughs> I think because all these questions I have to type in myself. And partially because we've got the mini fridge in the corner anyway, so I need to put that in the thing. I was like, I am going to take that in and make that joke. I was well ready for that one. I knew it was going to happen. T 
<laughs> Someone clip that one. You like the first Suttis? I assume that's a band. Probably not unless they're heavy metal. How did you come up with your character design? The person who, uh... <laughs> The person who sent me this was like, boring, I know it. I might message them. They're like, no, no, no. I like these, uh, these kind of questions. Um, I wanted to be a fox coming into the fandom and somewhat probably naively coming into it. I liked foxes before and I was like, I'll have a fox owner. No one else will have a fox owner. Who has a fox owner? Turns out everyone. Don't know why I thought that. I fucked a traffic <laughs> No. No. I have no words, Rick. In fact, I have several, but they're all very rude, so I feel like I probably shouldn't get away with it. <laughs> um, I want to be a fox coming in. I knew I wanted to be basic colours. And I knew I wanted to include red, because red is my favourite colour, so I was like, worked with the artist. <laughs> I mean, red modded right now. Um, so I was like, I want the red fringe, because at the time I was dyeing my fringe red for the first time. Um, I want the red ears, I want the red marks, just to like try and give it some... The rest of Jags, this is all Jags. Except, you know, I don't know. It's all 100% Jags. Real Jags. What is your opinion on furry fanboys? Yes. That is my opinion. Although, I will say that probably 85% of the people who are like, I'm a furry fanboy, probably. <laughs> I mean... I do feel like the term fanboy is kind of being ruined a bit because I think it's a bit too hyper-focused instead of generalised. It's very much like um, saying I was a guy who wants to dress feminine and then it's like, okay, what does that even mean? Like, does it mean, oh, you can't be a fanboy unless you wear mini skirts? Does it mean you can't be a fanboy unless you're like a stick figure? Like, I would say the fact I don't really like mini skirts. I don't like, you know, thing, but I really like tomboy fashion is what I call it like short denim shorts uh, vest shirts or top crop tops or clothes tops for like that I keep my hair long I don't really like makeup I've done makeup before I think eyeliner is probably as far as I could go so I would say probably I could consider myself a fanboy only because like I like a feminine style of clothes but I wouldn't say you know like the classic definition is like oh where's your skirt and like tons of makeup I don't Plus, you know, I have side of my head shaved, which is a bit... That is very tomboy. <laughs> That's not really, like... A wreck, behave. Don't do that to the traffic cone again. It probably didn't feel anything. Yeah, I just, I, maybe eyeliner, but I would say, well, I've got pictures of me, like, dressed up with one of the outfits I tend to have, which is, like, a crop top denim shorts and tights and that's something that I've worn like around the house casually because it's comfortable and I would say that it worked I don't wear enough so I don't have enough clothes for it I need to get some more I love you baby not a question I, the, when they're like ask me a question and then that's a statement in English classes we call that a statement I am being very brutal today. That's definitely not Tamari. He wouldn't say that. Actually, he has before now. My poor heart. I don't think he's ever at... Hi, Battle Orca. You scared me. <laughs> no. Hi. No. Raw means I love you a dinosaur. Which is basically how I dress. I'm being very brutal today. I'm going to upset someone one day. Show the pause. That was the same guy from earlier. 
who is upset that I mastered him to say no. Thank you very much. I like my tiara. I, it's that, that, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at myself and I can't see what I'm doing. One day. I, one day. I haven't done it yet. I have not. Oh, sorry. I did upset someone. I upset um, the guy who I said I would charge him money to talk to me. He was very upset. I love Gordon Ramsay. He's hilarious. And he has some good ideas. Fucking rule. <laughs> I just stare into your soul. Unblinking. Death is preferable. Uh, if you were your first owner for a week, what would you do? Probably be taken away for horrible scientific experiments. So, do exclamation mark boop if you want to boop. There you go. <laughs> that one's going to get used a lot in my speedruns, I can tell that already. <laughs> I, I can already tell that one's going to be used a lot, which is fine, that's what it's for. I'm just... Get chat like a little bit involved in my speedruns. I think they'll all enjoy that. I don't have a bonk or a pet. Hello, Nate King. How are you doing? Uh, so yeah, if I was my first owner for a week, I probably would be taken away and uh, experimented on terribly, which wouldn't be fun. Otherwise, I would probably charge for my services from those who would be very interested in first owners, and I would make a bomb for a week. Thank you very much for the follow, Battle Orca. Does have a hug. I've done it. I, I will. Thanks, computer. I will make a channel on Discord for ideas and I will sift through them and make a decision. How's that? That's a nice orange one. I was going to make it more sarcastic, but then I decided against it. You have WhatsApp or Telegram or Facebook? Yes, I have all three. Oh, you wanted them? No. How much was it for a full fursuit? Way too much. <laughs> uh, lots of money. Facebook in 2021. Very Facebook tends to be okay. I don't use it as much as Instagram and Twitter, but, you know... I've got to get myself out there. I've got to be marketable. I've got to get these people involved. So, like, I looked at Facebook. I didn't realize Facebook has a follow feature. You, so you don't, like, if someone... Shut up, Fridge. Um, you made a noise. Um, if someone doesn't accept your friend request, you can still set them to follow and see their content, which I didn't realize, right? And I only looked. <laughs> First, it's the price of modern use car. It's worth... Actually... Yeah, we paid more for this than we did for... <laughs> oh, Rick. For God's sake, Rick. Ah! We paid more for my fursuit than we did for Nino's Mondeo, I think. I believe. I think. Not more than we paid for my car. Because I was a princess and I demanded the finest for my car, so I got a nitty new one. My car is very expensive. But I wanted it, so I got it. And it has a little roof spoiler and red seats and it's got two doors and it's got like a little good engine and it makes me happy. Which is why I'm keeping it. So yeah, full face suits, very expensive, don't do it. Terrible habit to get into. Save your money, buy a house instead. I mean, I did that as well, but I own a Welsh Valley's house, I got it for... A packet of quavers, five pounds, and a handy around the back of the estate agents. I just... I love cars, and I very specifically wanted the car I bought, which is a Fiesta 1 litre. I very specifically wanted that one car, and I went out and bought that one car. That's the end of my only Discord question. <laughs> If you went to a car outside the UK, where would you go? Where I want to go and where I will go are two separate things. My first one is very much Anthrocon. I will go to Anthrocon. I want to go next year, actually. 
Um, I wanted to go to FWA for my 30th birthday. Likely won't happen because Nino's working, obviously. Because uh, he's a teacher now and that's going to be dead at the end of term time. So we can't do that. Bit unfortunate, but I'd like to do MFF, but probably a similar issue. So I'd have to go by myself or with friends. Uh, it, unfortunately, I don't have friends, so I'll just have to go by myself. Um, so I can't do F MFF, but AC, definitely on the cards. Definitely want to do AC, definitely like in the perfect time to be able to do it as well. So that's fine. But I do want to do MFF as well because it does look cool. Although it's very busy. I also want to do EF because I feel like that's when I take a kidnapping. Or kidnap someone for real. Theo the Wolf, roast me? I think we need one other guy for that, Theo. Do I have any special talents? No, I literally am useless at every single thing I do. Like, genuinely hopeless. Like, existence is... <laughs> the chat takes a little bit to catch up, so I feel like my, my mild bit of humour of just, like, answering questions quickly, like goes a little bit too, too to the side and it comes back again. Because, like, I, the chat catches up as I'm, like, doing something else. <laughs> what do you want from me? You knew what you get into. This is how I talk to people. This is why I get into trouble. Because I'm a sarcastic, quick-witted asshole. I get away with it, though. So apart from gaming, I played the drums for a great many years. Again, Blue, I, are we doing London? You said you were doing London, so I was like, literally nobody I know, like, who would have gone before is going. I thought we were going to save her and just do the September one instead. I don't know. If you and a couple of other people are going, I could be swayed. I've already set aside the plans. Yeah, to, 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 although what I, although what I actually actually practiced was Beast of the Heart by Event Sevenfold every single day for like two months, something ridiculous like that. Yeah, I might just move and do September. It might be easier. It might be more people because I think this one caught people short because even though it's they were like, oh, it's the end of August or the end of J July, most people I think from what I can understand assumed there weren't going to be any meets happening, so arranged private meetups for the next couple of weeks, and then they were like, oh, we're doing London, and most people were like, well, I already have plans, whatever. Which is where it is, that's sensible, that makes sense. I should take a drink, really. I haven't drunk anything since I started. I'll have to, I'll have to use human hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was like a whole lot of sipping for basically like two millimeters of water. <laughs> None of it went up the straw. That was unfortunate. <clears throat> no, no, that straw did not work. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, death is preferable to my existence. Yeah, aside from drumming, which I practiced for years and years and years. And, you know, I played live in a band. I recorded in a studio. So, you know, I did do a fair bit with it. Will you fuck off? Fucking blind bastard thing. That's going to get that in there. Yeah, it is. Fuck you. I don't get angry. I wish, kind of wish I'd good then barcade. It does look cool. I wanted to go before the pandemic hit, so it's sort of like a experience thing. Can you dab? Yes, I love the dab. I dabbed in work the other day, my first time. I've been working there five months. And uh, I got something right, and I was like, 
And they were like, what are you doing? Weirdo. We're good. Slowly learning that I'm a weirdo. All right, then. Bye. Have a pleasant evening. Favourite album ever? Um, ooh, it might be Infinity on High by Fall Out Boy. I think that's one of the things, though. Like, I would struggle to be like, that might be my favourite album of all time. But of all of the... Of the last 15 years, I would say, 15, maybe even 20 years by the time I get to, to my current age, in the last 15 and 20 years, that's the only album I can think of that I have consistently listened to songs of, of the entire time. There's albums I've said I preferred, like um, the self-titled Avenged Sevenfold album, um, Ammo by Bring Me the Horizon. You know, there's a couple of albums that I could say were my favourites for a certain period of time, like Ammo might be my favourite album otherwise. But I think Infinity on High is the only one I've consistently listened to for that entire time. Especially like um it's a it's a difficult one because obviously tastes change over time. Like right now I'd say Armo by Bring Me the Horizon because I think every single song on that's fantastic. But I really think Infinity on High has always been a favourite of mine. So I would have to say that it plays better because I I could just listen to it more. Like, you know, when I build a playlist on Spotify, that's one of the few I can think of that always ends up with songs on there. I don't know if I've ever been into Radiohead. What's your thoughts on the Skyward Sword remake? Fantastic. Not worth full price, probably, and they could have done a lot more work to it. Um, not so much like... They didn't need to change the gameplay. Putting the buttons in. Shortening the cutscenes. All those small quality of life things. Absolutely excellent. I think they could have done a little better. Um, I think they could have done stuff like maybe shorten some sections. And or like, you know, done some simple stuff. Kind of more like what they did with Twilight Princess than what they did with, say, Majora's Mask 3D. Where they like, they make cutscenes skippable. They speed up the dialogue. And they introduce some like slightly shorter sections just to make it a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, Skyward Sword. Excellent video game. Excellent remake. Probably not worth full price and I think they could have done more. Although my current suspicion is that I don't think they planned on doing Skyward Sword. I think they only released it because they had a gap in their schedule this year. Because I think they were supposed to release Breath of the Wild this year. Then they got it pushed back like a year and a half. And I think they decided to drop Skyward Sword just to like buffer it out and then get people ready. Like they got Skyward Sword right now. People are going to be excited for Breath of the Wild 2 because it's been so long. I don't actually think they planned on doing it originally. I think it just got sort of like, got, oh, we better do this. And then they just made it work and just dropped it in. Personally, I don't know. Maybe they've been... Uh, Pokemon Unite. I haven't tried that yet. Um... I don't like the ramp of monetization that I've seen it already. I'm a little bit like, hmm, yeah, not a, yeah, yeah. I know I should try it. I guess I haven't played it, so I don't know how I feel about it properly. What is your favorite social media platform? Twitter, because you can post porn. Find a random item in the room and show it on the stream without any context. All right, Brennan. I will speak to you soon. How about this stapler? Which just fell apart. Fuck, that was a mistake. There we go. I made a mistake with the stapler. How is Ellie doing? Five out of ten average item. But it fell, half of it fell on the floor, so it would be pretty average now. I've got my Xbox right here. Eh. Ready for tomorrow. Ellie is doing okay. I think she's sulking at the moment. Don't know why. Ellie! She ignored me. Unbelievable. The disrespect this animal gives me. 
You're like, you feed me, you walk me, you love me, call me? Nah, fuck off. I'm lazy, don't you know? Favorite Zelda character? Groose. Oh yeah. Although, Rivali also very cute, so... Kind of an asshole in the game, but very cute. So there is that. I'm not rush you a bit now. I'm like, oh god, I'm warm. What country would you like to visit that you've never been to before? Like, Groose is amazing. Like, once you know how the game ends with Groose... It makes it much better near the beginning, I think. Especially, like, the character building. Like, you tend to, like, learn to love him a bit better the second time through. Like, because I know what he's like near the end. Every time I play him through, I'm like, Groose! I feel like there's some animes like that, where, like, once you know what the character's like near the end, you tend to like them a bit more on a rewatch. There's a few anime I, that I like that, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. But I know that's a good example, because it's a very Japanese thing to do, I think. I, I definitely want to do Japan. I would love to do Japan. It's one thing I think we'll probably start thinking about doing in the nearer future. It's like a real person. What, just an asshole? That's how I think of real people. What is your favorite fruit juice? Ah. I guess apple juice because I turned it into cider. Is that is that a good answer? Maybe it's disappointing. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what food would that be? Is ass a food? I don't know. That's my first answer. My second answer is probably... Fish fingers. I love fish fingers. You can have them with anything. You can have them with sandwiches, you can have them with actual meals, you can have them with lunch, you can have them as dinner, you can have them as a snack. And they have a hilarious name. Although the Americans call them fish sticks, which is weird and unnatural. That's <laughs> sorted nuts. What is your favourite vegetable? If I say eggplant, they're going to be way too stereotypically fox right now, aren't I? Um, don't have one. I don't care. I ha I just have them when they work with a meal. I ju I, there's no vegetable that I go out of my way to have. Oh, but she... <laughs> like cucumbers. What is your favourite fruit? I feel like this person might have asked two questions. I think they might have been having the same questions. You might, you don't you know. Uh, my favourite fruit is... I, I, I don't care. I don't have one. I quite like strawberries. My dog loves strawberries. You used to give her strawberries quite a lot. She'd be like, gum, 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 gum. And give her strawberries. She's very happy with them. Bye! Bye! Have you I ever considered participating in a dance competition at a con? No, and I never will, because I have no sense of, like, anything. It's definitely not my thing. Very talented people, very impressive, not my thing. Can you sing? Categorically cannot. Evidence points to the fact I cannot. I, have, I failed a singing qualification. I cannot say. It's like academically provable. How long is your hair in real life? Do I show? I'll show. That would explain a lot more, I think. Let me just do this. I'll show. I'll show. Watch this, ready? Oh my god, I feel so free. So my hair comes down here on the last side, on this side. I, well, I only got a shave today. Face reveal, I, I've streamed with, without thing on. In fact, I'll have to stream for Fastest Furs without 
hit, um, anything on, or the V2. So, uh, yeah, right here on this side comes all the way down around. So going, hmm. And on that side, it's completely shaved off. My hair's a bit of a mess today because I need to re dye it. Like, all the roots are showing now. Yeah, now you know. That's how long my hair is. And it doesn't seem to grow any longer, which is a bit unfortunate. Well, the back grows longer, but the sides really don't. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Oh, my dog is finally coming. Only after I called you ages ago, Ellie. She's like, yeah, but now I want to come in. I'm trying to regress myself. Yeah. I don't. Maybe I used to be very precious about like selfie stuff. Uh, maybe because I never take a good selfie picture. I'm starting to feel like I need to be a little less pedantic about it because I'm like, whatever. Maybe it's partially because I'm less worried about finding out like work wise. I don't really care about work finding out anymore. I don't need that. Where the poor fell on the floor. Bap. She did not appreciate the bap with the poor. She was she was not a fan. <laughs> like when I do the fastest first stuff, I will likely be doing that without VTuber or anything. I'll just be doing it sat here. Oh, I might all my uploaded Pikmin sort of with a uh, face to reveal. So I'm not too fussed about doing it. What was your favorite subject in school? 60 centimeters, that's pretty long. If I think about it from like down, yeah, that's like probably shoulder blades, I would have thought. Uh, my favorite subject in school depended year on year. Um, my A levels were probably better because I did English and history, and I really enjoyed those two. I thought both of those were really interesting. Uh, but, like, for example, I really enjoyed doing a programming class later on, and I never enjoyed program um, IT in school. So it just depended year on year. Uh, I quite liked English because I quite like um, pulling up the thread is what I always called it. Like you'd be given like a poem or a story or something and pulling up the thread and like building a uh, writing something like, you know, five or six pages about what you've pulled apart from this and like explaining what they've done and the structure and what they've done with all that. I quite like doing that. It's quite a good, I'm quite analytic, so I quite like doing that. I quite like science, but I'm not very smart. Even though I got double A's in science, I somehow, like, I'm just very dumb. Modernize your backup and endpoint security. No thanks. Seeing that you study, used to study, I've qualified now. Do you love math? Absolutely not. I categorically do not like math. That's why I make a computer do it for me. But yeah, I no longer study computer science. I am qualified. There's computer science, and I have a job in computer science, but I never do math in it. I just do like networking bullshit now. Do you have any first year crushes at the moment? But if Blether was here, I'd say Blether, but he abandoned me, so he's no longer first year crush. Him abandon. Goodbye. Um. Loads. Days is a big one. I tend to really get if I get along with someone and they have a cute suit, they tend to end up being a suit crush. Yeah, many. Pretty much every single lacy suit, for example. I tend to like those. Every single mixed candy. Kismet suit, very big crush. Manuel the dog. Manuel the mixed candy dog. Probably one of my favourite suits ever. What is your favourite sandwich? The kind where I'm the filling. Actually, I really like cheese and ham. But I like the bread toasted as well. So, like, the cheese gets a little bit warm and melty, but, like, it still stays quite cold. You know, like, the ham stays cold, and then the cheese melts a little bit. Of bam. And I read, like, um, chicken and stuffing as well. Yeah, cheese and ham. Simple and effective. And fish finger sandwiches, of course. Maybe. Are you into any superhero movies? If so, which one's your favourite? I am a very big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought that was a very good... It's, it, they're not super superheroes, but something along those lines. I watched all the Marvel films. They were all very good. I really liked Iron Man. Simple stuff. 
I think it, and probably most people like those, to be honest. It's not really, like, special. Don't really like the DC ones, comparatively. They're never as interesting. What is your most embarrassing con experience? Don't really have one. I've not done anything stupid at a con yet, so... Go me! Oh, Spider-Verse was very good, actually. Do you watch any reality television shows? No, I ha actually have, like, a life. If you had to choose one video game to play for the rest of your life, what game would you choose? Um, I would probably say banjo Kazooie if I'm assuming the video game we're going to play is going to be a speedrun game. Um... If it's not, then Breath of the Wild, because Breath of the Wild you can replay. I replay Breath of the Wild more than any other Zelda game, except maybe Majora's Mask, which would be a close second on that question. But if it's a speedrun wise, then probably Panda Kazooie or Wind Waker. Since they're the only two speedrun games I've really enjoyed. Do you like Skittles? I fucking love Skittles. Skittles is like my favourite. Then, that uh, Sour Skittles. Oh, excellent. How long does it take you to fully suit up? Um, I'm trying to speedrun it. I speedrun it today because I didn't have Nino here nagging me, making me like precious up properly. Normally about 20 minutes, I would say, if Nino's helping me do it, to get everything on, everything in, brushed up, done tidy. I did it about 10 minutes by myself, but I literally just went boom on and I don't have the tail, the paws, and I didn't do everything properly. <laughs> I just wanted it on. Oi, I went past one. What was the inspiration for <laughs> Scarlet and Shadow? Scarlet, I always wanted a wild dog. And I could never make one. I be, I, ne I tried to do Jags as a wild dog. And I never really got attached. And I, But I loved the idea of having a wild dog. So I was like, I'm going to create it separately. Um... And I, what I really wanted, I wanted to have it like complementary to Jags, but using dark red and being called Sh Scarlet. But I wanted to be a bit more like Jags, pretty femi, I would say, comparatively. Scarlet's more masculine, so I wanted it to be like called Scarlet and darker red, but a bit more masculine. Which is why quite a lot of the art I've got is a bit more like, mmm. Um, Yin Jags, probably never now, it's gone forever. Though Kizma would be happy if I did it again, because he loves his Yins. As he keeps telling me. But yeah. Um, Shadow was more like a created to compliment Scarlet by Nino. But I don't think Nino is very attached to Scar Shadow. He likes having it. But I'm very attached to Scarlet comparatively. I would say Scarlet's like not quite as high up as Jags. But pretty close. Like I, I wouldn't want to part with Scarlet. And I will be getting a suit of Scarlet eventually. Because I do love that design. And Walthor did a fantastic job helping me make him. How excited are you that you'll be able to suit with Nino soon? I can't wait, though. That's going to be, like, next year now by the time we get it. Unfortunately, probably. Probably by, like, the next con season. Are you just whining at me, dog? Oh, I'm at the last question. A favourite and least fi favourite part of suiting? Favourite? Suiting with other people or suiting in public and doing stuff with it. Least favourite? Actually getting into suit. I think it'll be next year. I think it'll be next con season. Where have you gone? She just came in, went, hey, and walked off again. What are you doing? I don't understand that dog. She just came in, like, hmm, okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, we've hit that hour mark, which means I'm pretty much at my capacity. I've done all the questions. I was sarcastic as to half of them, which is pretty much part of the course. And I think that's me for Friday. I'm going to go and have a drink. Yeah, I'm very excited for Nino suit. I think it's going to look very good. I think we're going to make a nice couple as well because he's going to have a very black suit. So he's going to look very dark and he's going to like stand out in photos because he looks dark and then I'll be bright right next to him. So we'll both be like, thing. Yeah, tomorrow, Banjo-Kazooie, obviously. Sunday, Banjo-Kazooie, obviously. I say, because we got Fastest Furs coming up, I'm literally going to hyper-focus. I need to finish Metro Prime at some point as well. I am away. Yeah, we're both going to have a great amount of fun with saturation. Uh, I know I'm going to, like, I need to finish Metro Prime because I started it. 
But other than that, I'm basically just going to scrap doing casual streams because I don't really enjoy them anyway comparatively. I tend to find that they, I, I end up not playing the game the way I want to play it, which is basically quick because I end up playing most games quick. Like I read text quick. I tend to mash through cutscenes. I tend to try and do stuff quickly. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate everyone coming to watch. I hope you all enjoyed. I don't do these that often, and I think I prefer it that way. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to hyperfix it because I much prefer my presentation style for speedrunning anyway. And I can like hyper focus on that. Um, so I'll do Banjo Kazooie Saturday, Sunday. Monday, I have. Oh, <laughs> Kendra Jackson, absolutely. Um, Sunday, I think I will either do one of. Well, three things. Literally, well, there's only three options. I'll either do another Banjo Kazooie run if I want to keep hammering on. Um, I'll de rest Pikmin 3 because I've submitted that to Fastest First. So I really need to be on top of that. Or I will do a Wind Waker D rest run because I've submitted Wind Waker. I don't plan on running it, but I've submitted it. So I'm thinking like I might de rest it just in case. Because then if they do go, oh, we want you to run Wind Waker, at least I'm not like, well, I haven't run it in like four months. What am I doing? So I might try and de rest that a bit. But yeah, let's have a look see who can read. I reckon JT Wesky's probably still streaming, so. Hide. Oh, I thought it was the dog way. It's my collar moving. Yeah, thank you all for coming. I had a wonderful time. I do like fursuit streams. I like not doing them often because I feel like they actually feel like an event. As opposed to like, you know, doing them all the time. I do I do prefer speedrunning. It's more, it's more me. I do prefer it. I'll be doing speedruns all weekend, obviously, as always. If you, you can always try and convince me to do more suit streams if you want, but we'll see. This is loading like ass. Yeah, let's read. JT. Eh, eh. Wow, I butchered that. Yeah, thank you for everyone who okay? came. It was wonderful to see you as always. I will catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Be good.